Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Jenkins and Docker. Our viewer has a virtual machine running Oracle Linux and has set up Docker with a Docker Compose file. However, they're facing a permissions error when trying to start Jenkins. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore how to resolve it. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and I'm hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. The error message indicates that Jenkins cannot write to its home directory due to permission issues. This is often caused by the Docker container not having the correct permissions to access the shared volume. To resolve this, we need to check the permissions of the host directory that is mapped to the Jenkins volume. In this case, it's located at slash media devops workspaces slash dev tools slash continuous integration slash Jenkins. If the permissions are not set correctly, we can change them using the chown command. Make sure the user running the Docker container has ownership of the directory. After adjusting the permissions, restart your Docker container using the docker compose up command. This should allow Jenkins to write to its home directory without any issues. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing volume permission issues with Jenkins, it might be due to CLinux. A solution is to run your Docker container with the privileged flag. The privileged flag allows the container to have all capabilities and removes limitations enabling it to perform almost any action the host can. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix wrong volume permissions in Jenkins, you can run the Docker container with the same user ID as the host. This ensures proper access to the volume. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To fix volume permission issues in Jenkins on Minikube or Kubernetes, you can adjust the security context in your deployment configuration. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the Jenkins volume permissions issue, first navigate to your Jenkins data mount path, which is located at media. Then, run a command to change the ownership of the workspace directory. Finally, restart the Jenkins Docker container to apply the changes. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
If you're facing volume permission issues with Jenkins on Mac OS, a user found a solution by modifying the values.yaml file. They added run as user set to zero, which runs commands as root. However, be cautious with this approach, as it means all commands will run with root privileges. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.